9 inches. Scott's 24 volt battery. It only charges up to three bars for some reason. I thought the first time, I don't know, maybe it wasn't connected all the way. I, I knew that wasn't the reason, but I recharged it again and again. I only got three of the four bars come up on this battery. Remember, this entire kit was under a hundred dollars. Oregon bar and chain. Nicely tightened. Everything comes fully assembled. The one thing I was surprised at is it got some metal teeth on this. For 99 bucks, uh, actually less than that, I think it was $96. Um, believe it or not, a lot of these lithium ion chainsaws, they have plastic uh, teeth on them. So, it was a pretty nice surprise. Alright, let's see what this sucker can do. And this is a 12 inch bar. 9 inch way way too much really for a saw this size but let's see what it what, what it can do This is one of the lightest saws that you will ever, I mean, guys, this thing is so light. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, it cut, you know, nine, at a nine inch. Here, I'm gonna show them. Nine inch piece. Pretty easily, guys. Uh, Pretty impressed. All right, guys. So we we'll cut this nine p nine inch piece of oak down. Pretty simply, guys. Uh, you know, it took some time, but it never really struggled or anything. You know, it only has obviously a twelve inch bar, um, but like I said, it really never struggled, and uh, it took care of it pretty pretty good. Uh, now, obviously, guys, this isn't a saw that you're gonna want to cut you know, bark or, or trees, limbs, falling down trees this big width. You know, a 12 inch uh, bar, you know, light trimming, four by fours. Um, you know, like I said, um, you know, if you have uh, these smaller branches, like right here, you know, that's really what something this small is made for. And we'll, and we'll cut this real quick, I'll show you. I'm very surprised at the power of this. And what a real nice cut that it actually gets. Again, I mean, you could use this with one hand. It's that light. And that's, you know, instead of having two 18 volt batteries, and, and this light, is, this battery is so light. Uh, I don't know what it is. Um, 48 watt hours. So it's a two amp hour battery, but obviously it's, it's a 24 volt. So. Um, I mean, I don't know what kind of cells are in here, 
but for a 24 volt battery, this thing weighs probably a pound, if that. And like I said, you can cut with this with one hand. That's how light it is. So, you know, one hand. <laughs> Guys, again, $100 at Home Depot. I'll put the link underneath. I mean, again, not telling you to get this if you want something that's going to last forever. Um, but again, if you want something that you're going to use very occasionally and you don't want to spend three, four, five hundred dollars $500 on one of these lithium-ion uh, chainsaws, um, I kind of bought this as a, as a joke to kind of see how it would do. But I have to say I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. You know, like I said, lithium-ion technology works really well with chainsaws. Um, you know, chainsaws, string trimmers, hedge trimmers, you know, like I always say, um, lithium-ion works awesome. But uh, very impressed with the way that this performed. All right, I just want to weigh this chainsaw because, like I said, I don't think I've ever used a chainsaw this light. All right, now that's 10-inch, 12-inch um, lithium-ion chainsaw that I've used. I, I've never uh, felt one this light, so I want to get a weight of the chainsaw just in case anyone's, you know, interested. But, um, like I said, this is the... 24 volt Scott's battery. It's a 48 watt hour battery. Um, I don't know who makes this for Scott's or maybe they make it, but I don't know what kind of cells it has in it, but I've never felt, uh, and this, I'm talking like 1.3 amp hour DeWalt batteries, guys. You guys know how light those are. This is similar to that. Um, you know, probably not a lot of um, internal components inside here probably a, not a lot of protection um, not only for the cells but you know just uh, overall obviously there's no rubber over molds or anything to kind of add weight to it but um, like I said I'd be shocked if it weighed over a pound but um, let's weigh the battery first all right let's get it into pounds Okay, so one pound, pretty much just like I said, a little bit over, 1.065. All right, so now let's try the chainsaw here. The wind's blowing here pretty hard. All right, so 6.50, oh. 6.550. The wind is uh, blowing pretty good out here, but... You're looking at a total of 7.5 pounds um, for this chainsaw. So, super light, guys. You know, uh, for a female, for the older um, people out there, maybe have back issues or whatever, you want something real light, uh, 7.5 pounds. Like I said, the one thing I want to touch on is this kickback um, bar here. It's really just for show. Uh, <laughs> This doesn't move at all. So, it's a non-working um, kickback bar. Alright, so, 
But besides that, guys, um, you know, the, uh, the chain tightening system is pretty simple to use. Obviously, to the right is tight and lefty loosey. So if you want to loosen it and take this whole piece off, just turn it to the left. And when you get it set where you want, just tighten it. And like I said, guys, this is pretty much ready to go right out of the box. Um, the bar is on the chainsaw. The chain is on the chainsaw. Um, like I said, you got an Oregon bar. Hopefully you can see that. Oregon bar. Oregon chain. Again, hopefully you can see that. Um, you got metal teeth, which really surprised me. You know, on a lot of these cheaper lithium ion saws, you know, even the DeWalt, actually, the uh, DeWalt has plastic teeth. Um, you know, you got some metal teeth here. Uh, this is where you're going to put your oil. Real super simple. Um, what can I say, guys? You know, if you're looking for a saw, guys, that is light and cheap. Um, and, you know, the big downsides to this saw is basically its platform. Um, I think this is the only tool that Scott's makes. Um, you know, they might make a... They might make a uh, string trimmer or something, too. I'm not really sure, but they might only have two or three tools. And, again, wouldn't be surprised if this is the only one. So, the, the issue that you're going to have with this is you're not going to have batteries available to you easily. All right? Uh, I don't know if you can buy these bare bones. Um, I'd be pretty shocked if you could. But the issue you're going to have is obviously if you're in the Ryobi 10-inch or the Ryobi 12-inch or the uh, DeWalt 12-inch or the Makita 12-inch, you know, batteries, you know, if you're in their platforms, you probably have three, four, five, six of their batteries. So you can work through a job until the job is done. Um, if you have a big job with this saw, you know, you're probably going to be able to get 15, 20, 25 minutes before you're going to have to you know, charge your battery, wait 45 minutes, and then go at it again for another 20, 25 minutes. So that's, um, you know, the biggest issue um, you would have with this. But, again, if you're using it for pruning, uh, 4x4s, um, you know, and again, you can do some bigger stuff with it, guys. Um, it's just going to, it's going to eat the battery up pretty quickly, but, you know, Say you had a small tree fall in your yard, and instead of paying a tree service three, four hundred dollars to kind of take care of it for you, you know, you can buy this for a hundred bucks and take care of it in a weekend. And you know, you still have a saw for you know whenever you need it. You know, that's what it's kind of good for. Um, and if you're not into these other platforms, you know, Ryobi um, or the Dewalt or, or or Makita, or if you're in the Milwaukee platform where you know, you're in Milwaukee's platform, right? And the only way to get a chainsaw is spend $400, $450 on a chainsaw that you don't, really don't need a 16-inch uh, chainsaw. And you really don't want to spend that kind of money on, on something where you're going to use it occasionally. You know, you can pick something like this up for $96 and um, do what you have to do. But pretty impressed, guys. And like I said, lithium-ion... Um, you know, chainsaws really work well with lithium ion. Um, so I was, you know, I bought this as a joke to see how well a $96 or the lowest price chainsaw at Home Depot would work. And um, it works. And it, and it works pretty good. Super light and, um, you know, pretty smooth, guys. What can I say? So any comments, questions, let me know. Catch you. Flip.